Uh, that's not a pleasant sign to see when you come to your door, peeping in at you. Don't you look in the door at me. No. Don't you look in it. Yes, that's right, you walk away. I don't know how many diamonds this is, but um, in the Don shop, there is actually a thing called XP to go. So you come down. I don't know how to use it exactly, but let's see. Come downstairs to the Don stash. Getting a bit low there on stock, old Donny boy. Um, where's the XP to go? Need XP to go for enchanting XP to go. Put one diamond in at a time for a healthy shot of XP. Only accept diamonds. Use repair. One diamond in what? I'm guessing in here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty nifty. I like that. I shall leave this book upon the sheep signal above the Don's base. For, if he is worthy, he shall decipher the sheepish code and meet me for an interesting proposal. Uh. The day has come! The day has come. The kids have been looking forward to it. We are heading over to the Harry Potter land by... Why is my hair two different colours? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, that's a skin problem. Um, um, here's another hair problem. I'm bald. Can you put... Well, we've obviously got problems with our skins, but we are heading over to the Harry Potter area. Ah, that's finally, better. to have a look. Advanced hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, to that's have better. A, <laughs> we're heading over to the Harry Potter area to have a look and to start a special project over there for the area. So, what better way to go there than with casting a spell? Ridiculous! So look at this! Look at this! Woo! What is this? This is the Hogwarts Express. This is the train they catch to get to Hogsbreath. Hogs, hogs, to get to Hogsbreath. Not Hogsbreath. Not the Hogsworth. Hog, what is it? Hogsbreath. No, Hogsworth. Hogsworth. Hogwarts. Hogwarts. There we go. Well, this, this is, is it. Our dinosaur. This is cool. This is, why do I have this rubbish now? <laughs> Alright, what uh, this is the Quidditch. Oh This yay. is the Quidditch. Where are you guys? Oh, let's come over here first. The leaky, the leaky cauldron. The leaky oh, cauldron. That is the place. So this is still under construction. I don't really want to show off too much. Yep. But I do want to show off this because this looks absolutely amazing. And oh, it took a lot of work and a lot of effort. To get this done, the Quidditch arena, because we are going to actually have a Quidditch game, I believe, on the server. And this would have taken a long time. And I know that because I sold Creeper Carl most of the wool <laughs> that's been used in here. Yeah, so technically. But, yeah. you know, this, I'm just going to fly out. Oh, there's a beacon here. Oh, my word. Can't be. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. I can't show that. I, do what I, do. I know what it is too. Anyway, what this is this, is, <laughs> this is the Quidditch. So how cool does that look as we fly through it? That's absolutely Woo awesome. Ouch. And over here. Ah, oh, I hit. Oh. I hit the. And over here. Wow. And over here we have the night bus. Where's the night bus? Over here. Where? Done so well. Where's the night bus? The big purple blob. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, hello, Night Bus. How cool does this look? Isn't it blue? Night Bus. Wanna go on a Night Bus adventure? That is so cool. Oh, look, there's birds. And even the talking head is here, too. The Wither Skull. <laughs> that, but even though it's oh, look, guys. Funny. It's like upside down parkour. So, now, the job that we have been commissioned to do is we obviously are in the house of... Gryffindor. Ravenclaw! I get, I get confused sometimes. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw that's right. Ravenclaw, I'm used to saying Gryffindor because that's, yeah. So what we've got to do is we've actually got to build, now, 
we don't have a common room, but we're going to be having like the Ravenclaw house. So like where we have our meeting area for the other members of Ravenclaw. And I was told to look for a giant pillar and over somewhere in that area is where to build the uh, houses. So, I believe this is a pillar. Yep, cobblestone so that's pillar. Cool. So we've got to find somewhere over here that is conducive to building the Raven Claw house. I have an idea. House. Why? Right here. Go for it. How good a job has Creeper Carl done on this area? How good does it look? Good. Right, so... Oh my goodness. Well, while you guys play with that, don't <laughs> break anything. Oh, just be careful. There's a pile of lava here. Yeah, well, you can see this. Yeah, well. I'm going to find an appropriate area for the Ravenclaw house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're pecking as well.
Well, here we are, the Ravenclaw house, house, <laughs> I guess you could call it. Um, it's actually the second one that I did. I actually really struggled with this build and tore the first attempt down and then replaced it with this one. Um, when looking up Google about Ravenclaw things, uh, what really struck me, particularly about the common room photos, is very Roman-esque with marble and those sort of things. So I tried to capture that uh, with the white quartz uh, and then accented with obviously with the, the opposite of the blackstone. And obviously on top with the glass and the different walls showing the colours of Ravenclaw. In fact, the whole tower isn't quite finished just yet. But as we move on to the inside, it's definitely far, far from finished. We have a number of floors. Here we come into the first floor, uh, which will be the reception area. Um, not entirely sure I'm going to do that yet, but maybe with the arches like you would see in Roman villas and those sort of things. Coming up to the first floor here, um, I'm leaning towards me, maybe making this an enchanting area. I do want this house, this base in this Harry Potter area to also be functional, not just aesthetically pleasing. Uh, moving up then to the second floor, um, I am going to be putting another tower or another room off of this one. This may be bedding, not too sure what we're going to be doing with that just yet. Uh, coming up into what I'm calling the atrium room, this is where the two uh, extra towers of the wizarding tower are sort of positioned off, both off to one in front of us here and then up to the other side as we swing around. And these will be used for like potion areas and equipping stations and those sort of things. And obviously, my crowning achievement that I'm really happy with, the glass atrium at the top. Hello there. Hello. You have successfully found Sheepman's Lair. Uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Welcome. Uh, Welcome. So, uh, you said that uh, you can help me out with the books. Uh, what would you like in return? Well, you see, Sheep Man has very many well-meaning things to do around the realms, and such things require funds. And let's face it, I'm a sheep. I don't have any ways to make funds. So, okay. I was sort of hoping that I could get a cut of the profits if I help you supply books for your shop. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Non-shop. Yeah, totally not a shop. Yeah, um, well, uh, how about, uh, how about this for starters? And, uh, that could get you started, kind of a, like a, uh, retainer. And, uh, you help me out with the books. And, uh, maybe I can help you out with, uh, some of the other things you have going on in the realms. Our goal here is to spread good cheer and resources to the realm. We are the hero the server doesn't need, didn't want, but has. What? That's great. We, uh, we can do a lot of good. I mean, that's, that's what Sheep Man's all about. Good deeds in, in a different way, right? A very different way. <laughs> 